Maybe the previous tenants taped his sexual conquests. Isn't this setup a bit elaborate for that? And why would he leave a note leading us to the camera? It doesn't make sense. That's fair, that's fair. Hello, Mr. Mover. Are you Victor Neff? Yeah, that's me. We've got your sofa here, sir. Ready and delivered. So if you just sign the receipt right here, I'll leave it in your hands. But it's blocking the entrance. You should have thought about the size when you bought it, sir. Quite a common mistake, really. Uh, if you feel uh, that we failed to live up to our agreement, you're more than welcome to file a complaint with customer assistance, sir. How do I do that? I've got their card right here. We deliver door to door, like it says right here in the contract. And technically speaking, this sofa has been delivered to a door. <laughs> Whilst technically correct, you are not indeed correct, my man. I don't buy that for a second. I think you managed to get our sofa stuck in the doorway. And since you can't get it free, you're just gonna leave it there? You call it stuck? I say it's delivered, sir. And you're content with that? Uh, yep. I guess I am. When did you stop caring about your job, man? Helping people move their furniture is my greatest passion, sir. Come on, help me out here. I've got a pregnant wife upstairs and I can't get this free by myself. Well, I guess I could give you this complimentary crowbar. I'm sure a big guy like you will be able to pry that sofa free in no time. Provided that you sign the receipt, of course. Hmm. I refuse to sign anything until the sofa is in our apartment. And then we'll be standing here for a very long time. And I wish to remind you, we're charging you by the hour. <laughs> You're a douchebag, Mr. Moverman. Your moving firm is by far the worst I've ever employed. A third checkoff is always recommended before employing someone's services, sir. Fine. Give it here. I'll sign the damn thing. I'm glad to you see reason, sir. Here you go. You haven't heard the last of this. Signed and delivered. Personally, I consider this a job well done. I'm sure you do. Auto saving. Oh crap. Are, are you gonna leave then? Or just stare blankly into my eyes, longingly into my eyes, sorry. <laughs> You're just gonna stand there? Seeing as I can't get out, I thought. I might as well take a little break. You're probably the laziest mover I've ever encountered. Enjoy your sofa, sir. <laughs> Thank you, my mover. I'm gonna try and crowbar it real quick. There's no way I'll get this sofa free. So, it seems permanently stuck. Okay. So we're just stuck in this, this apartment forever until we die of starvation because our fridge is empty. Great. Okay. I guess I'll go upstairs and um, actually maybe check out the third floor. 
if it lets me, and talk to our new neighbours up there. No, let's not open it. We're going to ring the doorbell. Be all polite. <laughs> Imagine being that, that annoying of a neighbour. Um, let's check the closet door, of course. It's locked. Ring this doorbell. Hello? One of these people are trying to sleep. That wouldn't be very polite. I don't want to upset our new neighbours. Don't worry, I think you upset them enough by ringing the doorbell. <laughs> like a maverick. You fool. Okay, let's um go to my house. In we go. We're gonna dig up the floor. Is she still? What is she doing? Let's turn the tap off. There we go. Hello? Hey Alicia, you left the tap on. Do you want anything, my love? Um... Those darn movers managed to get the silver stuck in the doorway. Stuck? Permanently? It looks pretty bad. We might have to chop it up, I'm afraid. Surely they'll reimburse us, right? Uh, I wouldn't get my hopes up. Ah, uh, they run a pretty shoddy operation. We'll see about that. Yeah, you show them. Well, let's, uh, let's definitely dig up the floorboard right now. That's definitely what we need to do. In our rage of no sulfur. The crowbar snapped in half? Holy crap, it's not even metal. Good thing I managed to get the board up before it broke. Holy crap. Just a, a plastic crowbar. Ooh. Examine the machine, sure. This device seems to be where the current ends up. I have no idea what it does. Uh, it looks like some kind of fuse. Uh, this device measures the current running through it. Okay. I guess this is one of those sleep monitoring devices, right? Uh, examine resistor. This circuit has a lot of resistors on it. Oh, right. So do we have to, like, circumnavigate them? But I can't recall what a resistor does exactly. I think it, um... I think it... Does it increase or decrease the current running from I think it decreases because it's a resistor. Resisting. Oh wow, yeah, no, let's not do that, let's do that instead. Maybe that? Ooh, okay. Dude, I have no idea where, where I'm meant to be following right now. So I want this to go like that. Okay. And this one can go like that? No. Wait a second. There we go. So the power seems to be coming from here, right? So let's do that for our first attempt. Let's just make everything ignore the resistors. Right? If all the resistors are ignored, then none of them are. Full power! This device measures the current running through it. Okay. And we need to do that as well. But. Hmm. 
Oh, right, yep. Here we go. Oh, crap. That seems to have overloaded the fuse. It was probably designed to blow before anything else could happen. And maybe I can bypass it somehow. The fuse is useless now, I'll throw it away. Wait, let's examine it. Spare key to the apartment. Okay, can we use that as the thing? Yep, of course. That seems to have been a too much power for the machine to handle. It's completely burnt out. I wonder what happened, what it operated. Okay. What? What is that? I thought I heard some kind of noise. I don't know, really. Uh, I did what the note said and found a circuit under the floor. Uh, after I tampered with the circuit, the painting flew up. What's behind the painting then? I'm not sure. It looks like a camera. I'm gonna be honest, it looks very much like a camera. Uh, I kind of want the key back, please. <laughs> Our key is now electrified. Good luck getting that out. Maybe use the plastic crowbar pieces. Um, let's examine the camera. So, what is it? Um, somebody put a camera behind the painting pointing straight at the bed. A camera? You mean somebody was peeping on us while we slept? It certainly seems that way. Who would do such a thing? I think our landlord knows. Maybe the previous tenants taped his sexual conquests. Isn't this setup a bit elaborate for that? And why would he leave a note leading us to the camera? It doesn't make sense. That's fair, that's fair. I think it's Mr. Martin, to be honest. I just wanted to say that because that's just hilarious. Uh, Mr. Martin's my prime suspect. I was just about to say that. He does seem like the likely culprit. After all, he had free access to the apartment. And if I was Mr. Morton, that means he found the note left by the previous tenant and tried to destroy it. To be honest, I wouldn't leave it in the apartment if I were Mr. Morton. That makes sense. I told you I got a creepy vibe from that guy. It has to be Martin. He's trying to fulfill some kind of perverted fantasy creeping on us. I feel so violated, Victor. I think we should call the police immediately. What do you think? Um. <laughs> I'm gonna go beat the snot out of him. Don't, Victor. We don't know if it was him, although it seems very likely, and even if it was him, they'd lock you away for aggravated assault, and I don't want to raise our son from the other end of a visitor's table. Our son? You know it's gender? We talked about this. <laughs> Alicia. Ah. Oh. That's a conversation I don't think we're, we're capable of having yet. Um, I'll, I'll make sure he doesn't get away before the police arrive. By now he's probably noticed that we've discovered what he's up to. I'll just go down and keep an eye on him until the police get here. That sounds like a good idea. We have to make sure he doesn't get away with this. I'll call the police in the meantime. 
auto saving. That's when you know something saucy is about to happen, right? This is the surveillance camera pointed straight at the bed. I feel like smashing it, but the police won't like it if I destroy evidence. Fair enough. It's not destroying evidence, it's stopping it from making new evidence. Um, good luck. Away for. You know what? I'm gonna talk to our neighbour. Just a moment, dear. I'll be right with you. Doing a bridge. Why, hello again, Mr. Neff. Um, my <laughs> sofa is stuck in the entrance. Could you help me get it free? Eat. Um, Trevor has his um, priorities for sure. Uh, I just discovered a surveillance camera in our bedroom. A camera, you say? It was hidden behind a panel in the bedroom. I don't know what to throw. I, I don't mean to throw accusations around, but. You think Mr. Martin's behind it, don't you? He does seem like the most likely culprit, given the circumstances. Agreed. I always knew there was something wrong with him. But this is far more sinister than I could ever imagine. My wife is calling the police right now. They'll hopefully get here soon. I just wanted to give you an advance warning in case he's installed cameras in your apartment too. I appreciate that, Victor. I'll start looking as soon as my guests leave. That's all, ma'am. Goodbye, dearie. Here we go, to the basement. Okay, fine. Going down. Mr. Nev? My hand is too thick to reach it. The envelope isn't long enough. All us. Maybe we should call a complaint. Oh, the letter's probably long enough. There we go. Wise. Yeah, we'll never be able to leave the apartment. We've solved the mystery. Not that anyone can actually leave anyway. Is he actually stuck here? No. Uh, thank you for the coat hanger, my guy. Um, I'm going to talk to you again. Has Mr. Martin passed through here? Who? Mr. Martin, an elderly, shifty looking fellow. The sofa's still blocking the entrance, sir. Nobody's coming in or out of this place. That's no police then. I guess we'll just open the door. The door is locked. Peek through the keyhole. I think I see a gramophone on the far side of the room. Okay. I hear him moving in there. I have to get in and make sure he doesn't tamper with evidence, linking him to the camera. It's locked. Um, let's... No! I, I meant to actually unlock the door that time. Can you open? Unlock with key. I've unlocked the door. Open the door. End at chapter one. Mr. Martin? Actually, I didn't want to end chapter one. 
I wanted to make a complaint, but I guess... I guess not. Uh, I know you're here. We found your camera. My wife's upstairs calling the police. They'll be here at any minute. Chapter 2, the little man who wasn't there. Sus. Okay. I can't leave till the police arrive. You know what? The gramophone's not even playing, is it? Probably one of the best things mankind ever invented. To be honest, it's pretty fun. Uh, that's, that's definitely a puzzle. Um, I think I'm going to leave it here for today. I hope you guys are enjoying um, this uh, Let's Play. I, I think I'm going to play through this game in its entirety and um, share it with you guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. And yeah, I hope to see you next time. And we'll find out wh where this uh, wall piece leads. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.